How's it going everybody, and welcome to Uncle Chuck, an upcoming animatronic survival horror game where you are trying to uncover the mystery of the legendary Uncle Chuck Incorporated, and what led to its downfall. Headquarters. In 2005, the renowned robotics entertainment company Uncle Chuck Incorporated unexpectedly declared bankruptcy and withdrew all its animatronics to its headquarters upstate. Rumor has it that a secret VHS file uncovering the real reason behind the company shutdown is hidden within the now abandoned headquarters. Your mission, retrieve the file and escape undetected. Well, as we know in these animatronic survival games, that is hard to do. Uncle Chuck Incorporated. Not gonna lie, the logo is pretty cool. I like it. And we are at the sketchiest main office I've ever seen in my life. Uh, super dark and spooky. Um, we have a keypad. Oh, we have an inventory. And it looks like the Resident Evil 7 inventory. Um, but I can't hate that. I like it. Let's go ahead and close that. We have a chest here. A red key card. And a flashlight. Perfect. Um, and I did see we can examine that. Kind of cool. Then use that. Oh, and that is a lot better. I gotta say, this is looking pretty good already so far. Go ahead and pop this puppy open. And we are in. And I'm telling you, for a headquarters, this is looking kind of sus. Looks more like grandma's house. Can I go ahead and shut that? Perfect. Okay, we just have an assortment of the most random paintings. Pretty cool, though. Looks like that's dead. Oh, wow. We actually do have power. That's pretty nice. Is my battery going down down there? In the flashlight? Yep, it definitely is. How do I turn that off? All right, let's turn that back on uh, and find these light switches real fast. Okay, got that one. And let's get that one real quick. Cool. Now we can turn that off. Alrighty, so let's go right first. Go actually into this door right here. And please be a light switch. Nice. Is that an old Atari? That's pretty cool. Oh, perfect. Got a battery. A red key. Looted key. And what's down here? Nothing. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's cool. They're in a debug mode for an Atari. I'm not seeing anything else in there. Thank God there's light switches. Storage trunk. Oh, wow. Really cool. So they have a storage system as well. I really like that. Metalcore herb. Okay, this is... This is straight up Resident Evil. Medical oil. And nothing. What about these? Nothing. Okay. Um, high security access card that grants entry to restricted areas. I want to store that, but uh, I think we have plenty of space. So we'll just hold on to it for now. Level two. Okay, we need the level two key. Seen a light switch. Here we go. Just a regular old bathroom. Nice and clean, at least. Okay, we just used that level one key. Um, so I could probably go put that up. Oh, it's light switch. Beautiful. Go ahead and turn that on. 
Turn that on. Turn that on. Another storage trunk. So let's go ahead and put the um, level one key in there. I can't. I mean, it's seriously just like Resident Evil. It's funny. Kind of throws me off. And I think that is everything in here. All these paintings are looking the same, just random, generic. Couple cool drawn ones though. That one's cool. Here we go. Read. Note log two. Okay, so let me put that back. Here's that level two key. Put back, use. Huh. Grab that. Grab that. Nice, got some good loot there. Oh, and they stack, that's awesome. Okay, I wanna grab this key but it is not letting me. Well, we'll come to that back to that real quick. Let me see if I missed a first note real fast. Yep, right here. Note log one, date March 3rd, 2005. Employee Sarah Wilkins, junior software developer. Another long day at Uncle Chuck Incorporated. We're behind schedule on the new animatronic character for Pizza Palace. And Mr. Armitage isn't pleased. There's a lot of pressure to get everything right, but we're doing our best. The new AI software seems really advanced, maybe too advanced. I'm not sure why we need such sophisticated algorithms for children's entertainment. I overheard a conversation about integrating the software into a broader network. Probably just rumors, but it's a bit unsettling. Anyway, back to debugging the new voice recognition module. Okay, it's a little bit... Sus. Um, sounds familiar, for sure. Uh, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Ooh, medical oil. And it is awfully quiet in here. Let's read note number two real fast. Note log two, date July 15, 2005. Tom Grayson, lead engineer. Another day, another glitch. We're working overtime to make sure the animatronics are ready for the grand opening at Funland. The boss is pushing hard on this new AI project. It's supposed to make our robots more interactive and engaging for the kids. I've been hearing whispers around the office about a secondary purpose for the AI, something about network control and enhanced capabilities. The whole thing is wrapped in secrecy, but it's clear that Jay Armitage has big plans. I just hope we can pull this off without any major issues. Time to get back to troubleshooting the new movement protocols. Huh. So it sounds like they're making some crazy advanced AI when their actual animatronics aren't fully developed yet. And I still cannot grab this key. Weird. Let's go check around everything first real quick and we'll come back to that. Uh-oh. I'm not finding a light switch. Let's go ahead and turn the flashlight on. There we go. Let's hit this one too. And this one. And that goes full circle. Oh, okay. We need a padlock code for this door. Okay, that's everything in here. I'm assuming we're gonna find the padlock code in the third area. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can't fit it. It takes four spaces. Let's go put some stuff in the trunk. Um, I'm thinking we'll put the medical herbs there and we'll put the batteries there for now. Keep healing oil on us. I'm kind of scared for what we'd even need that for. Things are pretty quiet right now. Let's pick up that key. 
Okay, on to area three. And let's make sure that the um, storage boxes do connect. So there was one. Where was it? Oh, maybe that was the only one we got to so far. All right, level two. Oh, I don't know what it is. Animatronic room has been breached. Oh no. Whoa, I hear footsteps. I was just about to say, I don't know what it is, but the blue room just makes it a little bit more ominous. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that scared me. Um, let's go ahead and turn our flashlight on. Oh! oh! God, that did me dirty. Okay, let's go for that again. Now we know that Uncle Chuck ain't messing around. Um, equip these real fast. Okay, we should be able to get back to where we were relatively fast. He had to have started charging me. He, I thought he was going so slow, and then he was just on me. Okay, let's leave that open. You know what? Just safety precaution, we'll turn all these lights on. There was another storage chest. Okay, let's move this over for now. I don't think we're going to need this, so we'll move that over too. We got our red key and some healing oils. Okay, let's open that on. Turn that off. On. 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 All right, all of our lights are on. We got the blue key. Let's take that. And okay, so it doesn't look like the storage chests connect right now. We might implement that in the future. Oh, I'm a dummy. I put away the blue key. Don't need that one. Cool. Okay, here we go again. Let's turn this on. Immediately turn on these lights. Okay, I need the special key. Where have you gone? What? Uh he definitely spawned close. I hear him right outside this door. Read this note while we're in here. Padlock code 1379. All right, let's just get back there as fast as we can for now. Where have you gone? He's right around that corner. He sees me, I'm screwed. I'm like cornered right now. You moving? I will find you. Oh, that's so creepy. At first I thought he was kind of goofy sounding, but it's actually a little Where bit ominous. Because it just sounds so robotic. Okay, it doesn't sound like he's like actually coming this way. What do you think? Should we get the padlock or should we explore this area? I kind of want to explore this area a little bit.
He's right on the other side of this wall. Okay, let's walk. We'll turn that on. Okay. So we have a code that we need to get in here. I'm assuming that means we're going to have to get the padlock open. Note log three, date November 9th, 2005. Employee, Lisa Carrington, security analyst. Security protocols are getting tighter and it's not just because of the usual concerns. Mr. Armitage's latest directives are raising eyebrows. The new AI software is being tested on a larger scale and there's talk of the animatronics having more autonomy than we originally intended. Some of the engineers are saying that the AI could potentially link up with external networks. It's all very hush-hush, but from what I gather, there's a plan to use our robots for more than just entertainment. The idea of them acting as soldiers seems far-fetched, but the way things are going, I wouldn't be surprised keeping an eye on the system logs for any unusual activity. Ah, the damn government. Okay, unfortunately, we're gonna have to get to that padlock room somehow. Okay, let's save battery for now. Actually, shh, that was loud. Man, I didn't grab any batteries really. Or they're stored in the other trunk. I will find you. He's right there. It's right there. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go, go. We can't shut that door. Oh, okay. Okay, we made it. That is... Makes me so anxious. Oh my god. No. I forgot the combo. I forgot the combo. No, I gotta go. Go, go, go. See his arm? Did you see his arm? We gotta go. Where have you gone? I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I forgot the combo. We have to go through that again. One, three, seven, nine. One, three, seven, nine. Okay. Where have you gone? One, three, seven, nine. I can't believe that. I'm such an idiot. Where have you gone? I'm thinking the best bet is to do what we did last time. Please just walk by. Please just walk by. Where have you gone? Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, that is so sketch. He's definitely coming back this way. I gotta type this code in fast. Hopefully we can shut this door. I know it needs to type it in. I will find you. No. 
One, three, seven, nine. It's one of the smoother combo locks I've used in a horror game. Okay, what do we have here? I will find you. Safe code 1447. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Now we have to get back to the safe. Ooh. What is that? Key. A generic yet mysterious key with an unknown use. Keep it on hand as it may unlock doors, chests, or secrets yet to be discovered. We did find that door that said we need the special key, so that's gotta be it. Where have you gone? He's like right outside this door. We safe. I can't tell if he's walking away or towards us. I will find you. No, he's like right outside this door. Okay. Where have you gone? So far, so good. God, that is so creepy. He's coming back this way. It sounds like he's coming our way. I will find you. Oh yeah, he's absolutely coming our way. I will find you. Interesting. I wonder if this is going to be the title of the like episode of this game. <laughs> Assuming it's going to be episodic, like Poppy's Playtime and all of that. Ooh, he just walked right by us. Okay, can I go? Let's go. No, I'm, mm, I literally forgot. I forgot the safe code. Oh, no. 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 Oh, he's so fast. He is so fast. I think we're dead. There's no way. He's right behind me. I can't shut that door. find you that was terrifying oh my god i don't even know i don't even know how we survived that okay we gotta get that safe code again because i'm an idiot I will find you. he is right around that corner One, four, four, seven. One, four, four, seven. Okay, just go. Just go. Where have you gone? We made it out. Okay, let's go back. Let's use that special key first. Shut that, shut that. A camcorder. Illuminate the darkness equipped with night vision technology. This camcorder is perfect for exploring and documenting in low light conditions. And a camera battery. Okay. That is horrifying. So we have... Resident Evil, we have Five Nights at Freddy's, we have Outlast. Got all sorts of games in this one. Has he started to come into the blue room? No. I think we're good. Okay. 
Where was that safe? I was further down. Where have you gone? Let's turn that on. One four four seven. Where have you gone? It sounds like he's right there. I looted a VHS cassette. Was there a player in the beginning? Where the Atari was? He just walked right by. Where have you gone? A classic durable format for video recording and archiving memories or documenting important events. Huh. I didn't see anywhere we could play this. We good? Ooh! Where have you gone? Okay, he definitely started going into the blue room. Oh, sweet. A battery. Well... Thank God we don't really need this camcorder right now. Dude, can you just leave already? I will find you. That was close. Where have you gone? <laughs> well, we got him on video. I will find you. Oh, that was scary. Okay, finally, it sounds like he's leaving that area. VHS player. Where have you gone? There's not one in here. There's not one in here. There must be one in the red area that I just don't remember. Or are we supposed to leave? Find you. I'm hoping he just walks past and we can go behind him. I will find you. I will um, find you. Come on. No, he's walking away. What is he doing? Looks like he's eating garbage. Okay. Do we leave because we have the VHS tape? Yeah, that's absolutely what we do. Oh wow, and that's it because we succeeded our mission. We got the VHS tape, but Damn, I really wish we would have found what was on the VHS tape. Okay, well, this seems very promising. I love all of the inspiration they drew from all the different horror titles I mentioned before, uh, but this does seem super promising. I think they could do a little bit of work on making the animatronic a little bit more frightening looking, maybe adjusting the amount of times he speaks or the way he speaks. But it does have something ominous and creepy about it that I do like. I'm super interested to see where this goes next. I really did enjoy this little teaser right here.
Um, if you guys are interested in trying this out, I'll go ahead and link it down below, but this game will be making a full release on Steam, and I'm assuming other platforms in the future. That is going to be it for this one, guys. I'll absolutely be playing this when it's released. If you enjoyed the video, show your support with a like, comment down below what you think of the glimpse we saw here of this game, and subscribe to be notified for the next video out. Until next time, guys, see ya.